In this bulletin, Cartridge World helps foreigners and their families start new lives in the United States. Hello, I'm David Gibbons and here is the news. Another new Cartridge World store opened this week in the United States. This one was opened by a Venezuelan man who recently immigrated with his family to the US. Cartridge World opened its first US store in 2003, but now it has more than a thousand in some 55 countries. Cartridge World is helping foreigners and their families start new lives in the United States. Already, budding entrepreneurs from Europe, South America and Africa have immigrated to the country through its global franchisee program. Florida Cartridge World master franchisee Francisco Garrido has played a key role in easing the transition of those immigrating to the United States. And Francisco Garrido joins me from Florida, USA. Greetings, Francisco. Hi, David. Thank you for inviting me. So tell me, Francisco, how many foreigners has Cartridge World recently helped with its Foreign Entrepreneurs Program? Uh, we started this program in 2014. And so far, we awarded three franchises and two stores already opened and one store was open last week and three of the franchises came from Venezuela. So we have a very good experience with this program and it generates more leads than any other campaign which we run now. Fantastic. So why do foreigners make such good prospects for a Cartridge World store business there in the United States? Uh, first of all, we're very careful in selecting our uh, potential franchises. But foreigners are very good. Mm -hmm. Again, it's nothing against Americans. <laughs> but foreigners are very uh, motivated and goal-oriented, more energetic because they need to build business faster uh, to create better future for themselves and their family. That's why uh, we started to work with foreigners and bring them to the United States. Hmm. So, okay, are there any problems? Do cultural and language differences cause a barrier? Actually, it scares people more then in reality we have this problem uh, because many of people who were uh, who came to the United States with cartridge wool already know English but uh, our product and our service is easy to present and many of our clients understand well and understand benefits of cooperation with cartridge wool so it's easy to explain them in any language, I would say. And mm -hmm. as well, uh, our franchisee can hire employees, bilingual employees, who can work for them. It helps them to develop business faster. And as well, our uh, bilingual franchisees benefit from knowing different language rather than uh, English only, because they can approach different group of people who doesn't speak English and it helps them to develop business faster than people who just speak English. So it's uh, mostly a uh, benefit, not an issue for them. Good, okay. So just how are you personally able to help foreigners, maybe someone watching the program right now, who might be interested in joining the Cartridge World program? What are you doing to help them? First of all, we present Cartridge World opportunity in many conferences in the U.S. and outside of the U.S. We participate with many uh, legal companies and immigration attorneys. They present uh, different ways how to immigrate to the U.S. And we present Cartridge World as an opportunity to immigrate to the U.S. So we work together. And we know very well how stressful is immigration. And we help to our potential franchisee from the first moment when they decided to join Cartridge Wall uh, to the day when they open a store and start running business. Uh, we help them to prepare documents for immigration. Uh, we help them uh, to find attorney. We help them up 
after that, when they receive a uh, visa to U.S., we help them uh, to find a location for the store, to negotiate lease uh, with a landlord, to receive all permits required to run a business, help them uh, with training, uh, with initial advertising. So we help them on each step of their immigration and starting the business, which is very important for them as well. Also, uh, Catrich World is very interesting to our potential franchises because investment is not too high and they sell uh, service and product, which is our common own clients and business plan used every day. And they work in real business environment with uh, uh, medium and small size businesses. And as well, which is what is very important for them, they work in regular business hours. So they have a time for, for their life and for, their, uh, for hobby and for their families. Okay. Now you mentioned Venezuela. Are you targeting any particular foreign countries or is it open to anyone who would like to immigrate to the United States? Uh, now we targeted um, just biggest countries in Latin America, which histor historically had more immigration to the United States, such as Venezuela, Colombia, Argentina, and Brazil. But definitely we are welcome to any people who would like to come to the U.S. and start a Hall business. And I hope maybe in the near future we will get more requests from, from Asia, which has tremendous potential for us. Mm -hmm. So Francisco, how are you working with the U.S. authorities to screen suitable applicants? And what benefits or assistance is the government providing? Uh, we do not cooperate so much. But we have to screen our candidates to be sure that they have clean uh, background, I mean criminal and financial background. Uh, we have our sources to check it, but we always cooperate with uh, U.S. authorities to double check that this candidate is suitable for us and it can legally arrive to the United States. So uh, we exchange this information with authorities. But the rest of the job they do by themselves. Francisco Garrido, thank you very much for joining me today. Thank you very much again. Thank you for inviting me. And Cartridge World is among the top 100 franchises ranked by Entrepreneur Magazine. You can go online to the address on your screen to contact Cartridge World about the Foreign Entrepreneurs Program. And for more breaking imaging news, go online to irecyclingtimes.com or grab a copy of Recycling Times magazine published in four languages, including Spanish, with Printright CEO Arnold Ho on the front cover this month. Thanks for watching. See you again soon. I'm David Gibbons.